Hello Storyboarders, my name is Eric and today I'm going to show you how to make a postcard and letter worksheet using one of Storyboard That's pre-made templates. Alright, let's get started. Now first we're going to pick out a postcard that we like. Now we have a few nice options here, but I think I'm going to go with this classic greetings from right here. So let's just click the copy template button that's right below. And this will bring us directly into the storyboard creator, which will then prompt us to give our template a name. Now you can call it whatever you would like. I'm just going to call mine template one and click continue. All right, now it's time for us to customize our template. This is where we get to add characters, items, update the text, make any changes that we want to. So first I would like to add a character. Now, since this is a postcard and we have this nice greetings from, maybe we add somebody who is on vacation. So let's go up to our characters menu. Let's stay in adults and we could scroll through all of these great options, but I'd like to use the filters right here to help narrow down our search. So somebody who is relaxed, maybe wearing shorts or sandals, just having a nice time. So let's try searching shorts. Oh, and that worked really well. All right, so this gives us a few characters. Now I like this character right here with the flower shirt and the shorts. Looks like he is having a nice time. So we're gonna just drag our character down and drop them off in our storyboard. And now we get to customize. This is where we get to update poses, facial expressions, change colors, make any changes that we want to. So let's update our character. So it looks like they're having a nice time on vacation. And when we're all done, just click update pose. All right, there we go. Let's close this filter. Now we have our character in our storyboard and we can move them anywhere we would like to as well as resize them. Just drag the corner of your image and there we go. All right, now next is items. Now you can browse the items menu up top and go through all of these nice uh, categories. But if there's something specific that you would like, you can search for it in the upper right hand search menu. Now I think I would like to have them holding maybe a camera. So let's search for a camera. All right, we got a lot of great options. Let's go with this old digital camera here. Just drag and drop into your storyboard. And there we go. So let's have it in their hands that they're waving with. Get a little bit smaller and let's give it a rotate as well. Now to rotate an item or a character, just grab this top button that is above your item in the center and drag and turn. All right, great. All right, now next is scenes. Now this is a pretty simple, straightforward template, so it doesn't have any pre-existing scenes. So let's add our own. So I'm thinking, I, I'm, I'm thinking I would like to have my character somewhere on vacation. So if we go up to our scenes menu, you can grab any one of these options. We have a lot of great places that they could be. They could be somewhere outdoors. We have a lot of nice beach options, out in the woods, out hiking. They could be visiting any sort of historical location or anything related to US history. But I'm thinking I'd like to add in Niagara Falls. Now I'm not immediately sure where that might be, so let's just search for it. If you go to your right hand menu and let's do a search for Niagara Falls. I believe that's how you spell it, but we're gonna find out. All right, there it is. And look, we have two scenes, uh, well, one scene of two different sizes of Niagara Falls. So I'd like it to be in this box, so I'm gonna use the wider one. Just like our character and our item, just drag and drop, and there we go. Now, if I wanted this scene to fill the entire space, all I could do is click the stretch to fill button and go with these great options here, and it would fill the entire frame. But I don't wanna do that, I wanna keep it within the postcard in case I want to cut it out later. So let's cancel out of this and we're going to stretch this manually. So let's just line this up top and stretch this out. All right, I think that looks good. And we're going to slide it over. Now it's a little too big for our postcard frame. So we're just going to crop this. All right, if we go over to our right hand menu and select crop, we can just crop this here. Now, if you'll notice, we have this nice transparency so I can see the postcard's frame, which is very helpful when you want to do something like cropping. Just line it up, click OK when you're all set, and there we go. Now, I'm going to click uh, set, Send to Back a few times. I'm going to do one layer at a time because I don't want to send this all the way to the back. I just want to see the items that are on this card. 
So let's send this back with a few clicks. All right, and there's our greetings from. Now, last but not least is text. Now you can edit any of the pre-existing text boxes. All you have to do is select the text box and you can put in your own words. So let's just call this postcard template. All right, great. Now you can also change the font as well as its size. Now I like this greetings from, but it's a little hard to read up here in the waterfall. So let's move it. Now, just like your items and your characters, you can move and resize text boxes as well. So let's just move this down here below and let's change this font, something a bit more fun. So to change it, just highlight what you would like to change, go over to your text editor and let's select a new font. Now we have a lot of great options here. So let's find one that we like. All right, I think this Lobster 2 is pretty nice. All right, you know, that's actually a little busy with it being in all caps. So let's select something that's a little bit simpler. What about this one? You know what, I think that's fine. It's a little stiff, it's a little rigid, but I think it will do fine for this. Now I'd like this to be a touch bigger so it's filling the space. So let's highlight it again, go to our text editor, and let's bump that font size up just a little bit. All right, perfect. Get it back on our frame. There we go. Now, when you're all done making the edits to your template, all you have to do is click the orange save and exit button that's in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And that is how you make a postcard template using Storyboard That. Thanks for watching and happy storyboarding.